Uh, now I think the point which we reached is a hysterical point because because um, this is where where uh, it's a start point for really coming up with a product which can be used in five years. Uh, but there is a lot to be done in five years um, in terms of infrastructure, technology, and others. Because if we don't make this ready, uh, you, you know, we cannot, uh, you know, uh, risk the people's life like this. We have to make sure 100% that everything is safe and every, everything has to be done according spec, uh, according specification. Plus, as you know, the uh, location where, uh, I mean, where those helicopters has to land, maybe it's on top of some buildings and the parks and the parking. We have to also coordinate with the police for the safety issue, for security issue. So it's, we have to do a lot of work for the coming two, three years. So the ultimate implementation will actually see you using a smartphone, having an app, ordering a volocopter to the next voloport near you. The volocopter will come autonomously, pick you up and take you to your destination. It already is capable of flying uh, based on GPS tracks today and will implement full sense and avoid capabilities, also dealing with unknown obstacles along the way uh, once we reach full implementation. The volocopter has high levels of redundancy, all, uh, both in the mechanical as well as in the electrical parts. But in reality, any critical component can fail and the volocopter can still continue its mission on a very safe basis. 